Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Linux uh, virtual machine in Microsoft Azure and connect to it. So all we need to do is to log into our uh, Microsoft Azure account with our subscription. Uh, it's a free trial. We can click on virtual machine. Uh, from virtual machine we can click add and from here we can select Red Hat and here you can select any version. I'm going to select 7.4 and the source manager create here we need to name our virtual machine so i'm going to just say it's a web vm linux and then i'm going to choose i'm going to choose a username i've written it in a notepad because uh, uh, what happens is that if you don't write them in the notepad, sometimes you forget the, even the username and the password. We can go with SSH public key or we can go with a uh, normal password. So I'm going to select the password. In both of them, just make sure that you have a proper password and, um, and notepad. So for example, I've written them both here in the notepad so I can use them later on. Uh, so and you don't need to select anything extra uh, you can create a new resource group if you don't have any so i'm going to say web vm linux and i'm going to i'm going to create that in in central us so in few minutes it will be okay it will be created With the hardware, I'm going to select B1S. Uh, based on the pricing, I'm going to select uh, this. It's the cheapest one available. Uh, high availability. Um, we're we're going to leave everything as is. I'm not going to select availability zone. And uh, all I need to do is to just select public port to be open, which is SSH 22. You don't need to open any other port. And then I'm going to go down and click OK. It will give us a summary and uh, the charges. And I'm going to select. I'm going to select uh, 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 agree to the terms and conditions. It automatically fills up this information. And if if it doesn't, then you can write your email address and your phone number. So it takes this from your subscription. So it is now creating a new VM. It's a Linux VM. Once it is created, then we can uh, connect to this VM. Uh, from a SSH client. So in my case, I have a PuTTY client uh, downloaded. You can also use a PuTTY client, or you can use um, any SSH free, any SSH client. So once it is created, I'm going to use a PuTTY client to connect to this uh, uh, connect to this virtual machine. I'm going to pause this video at the moment, and then I'm going to come back. So it took around uh, five ten minutes, and the virtual machine is ready. All I need to do is uh, click on the web, web VM Linux that we just created. You can see that you can connect to the machine. You can start restart. It is already started. Uh, you can see the name here of the virtual machine and here's your public IP address. So in order to connect to this machine, all we need to do is to copy this public IP address. So we can uh, copy that public IP address. We can bring in our party client and then copy the uh, paste the IP address so it remains the same which is uh, 22 or 22 and then open and in few seconds it will let you connect to this machine it's um, and here it's asking for login so remember we copied we saved our login password because it is case sensitive the username must have all small letters and uh, for the password, it can take any passwords. So here, I'm going to connect. Mm. So just let me bring this. So the password is web vm linux. Sorry, web vm admin. So remember that we can admin 
and the password is where V M P capital password one. And here in few moments accept denied. What is wrong with this? Uh, so so the username is web vm admin and so let's try again web vm web vm p capital password one so now it is connected so this is how you can connect to uh, Linux machine, you can run any command. So, for example, if you need to see any all of the uh, processes, we can type top and it's showing you how many processes are running, how many files are running, how much RAM is being used, and we can do anything uh, with this. So, this is how we can install and connect to our Linux VM. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next video.